Getting ready to know the class of 2023 and players that might commit to the class of 2023. Getting a little bit of insight into Penn State recruiting and a Penn State potential commit. Mason Robinson from McDonough High School joins us. Uh, Mason, thank you so much for taking the time to be on the show today. Thanks for having me. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, I appreciate that. And I want to start with, because I know we're, we're coming after track practice. So how did track That's practice fun. go and how's the track season going for you? Um, actually, we have a meet tomorrow. So today we were just doing a warm up and just doing th like, um, just doing like run outs and stuff like that. So it wasn't that hard today, but um, this would be my second meet. It, it was, I think it's like our team's fourth meet, but I couldn't make it because I was at different colleges, like Penn State, South Carolina. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually very excited to uh, see how I do this meet. Cause my first meet, it was my first time. So I was a little shaky. I, I was a little nervous. So, but this time I think I'm gonna do better than last time, hopefully. So this is your and, first um, season in track. I'm excited. Yes, sir. It is my first season actually running. Uh, last year I did shot put and discus. Gotcha. But this year I want to focus on my speed. Uh, just stay active this year, this season. Okay, so uh, you lead me in my next question. What What are you competing in? Um, pretty much anything under the four hundred, because um, <laughs> the four hundred is a long race. So the one hundred, oh, yeah. the two hundred, um, pretty much are my races. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah, anyone who wants to run more than than uh, I think a hundred meters is a little bit crazy. But you know, you got people out there who who got those long bird legs that can run. My nephew runs track and he runs cross country, and he is like six two, and he is just a rib cage with legs. So he's great yeah. at running all those things. I'll I'll save the sprinting and, and the fast running to guys like you. Um, so do you have any do you have any times from practice that you want to brag about before we get into stuff? Not yet. Not quite yet. I'm still working on it. So um, hopefully down the road, I'll share my times with y'all. All right. Well, when, when we get some, make sure you pass them along. We'll, we'll mention <laughs> them here on the show. Uh, but Got you. enough fun, enough getting to know you. Let's get down to business. Let's talk about your visit Got to you. Penn State. Uh, visit Penn State this weekend. How was your time in Happy Valley? I would just like to say thank you to all the fans for showing love. Y'all have a crazy fan base up at State College. Um, I appreciate all the love thrown my way. Um, I would just like to thank um, all my McDonough uh, brethren who are up there at Penn State. Um, they show love. Coach Scott, uh, Coach Barnes, Coach Dion, Coach AZ, Coach Kenny Sanders. Um, it, they they have a type of culture to where um, – Everybody's like a family up there. Everybody is treated as the same. Nobody is higher than the other person. Everybody is pretty much working towards the same goal, and that's to win. And that and that is completely obvious. And um, I had a great time, you know, meeting, meeting the guys, watching the practice, watching Coach Scott coach is what I really wanted to see this time going up to Penn State. And um, their practice was on point. It was fast paced. Um, you could see that they were really trying to install new things and really trying to implement um, their goals and implement and work hard and always push the uh, always push their teammates, always push the guys next to them. I thought that was very special. So I I thoroughly enjoyed my time at Penn State. I thought it was a great a great time up there. So what uh, what stood out to you then about Coach Scott? And I know you you just said you were kind of mm -hmm. looking to get a little bit more focused because you've been up to Penn state a couple of times, want to see some more right. intricate, more in-depth things. What stood out to you about his coaching style and what are the things you took away from that? Um, I think one thing that I really noticed about Penn state and their practice was about um, how after practice, you know how people normally just get up and leave and just go on through their day. It was it was like almost everybody just stayed after practice and was just working on their on their on their um on their tools and on their skills. It was like, you know, I've I've been to a lot of practices and after practice, it was just people are, are going up and leaving. But at Penn State, it's like everybody just stayed there. I was like, does everybody just stay here and get extra work in? I was like, that's 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 a great culture. That is yeah. crazy, and I think that was that that's nice to see. And Coach Scott, um, he's he's a teacher at heart. Um, I think he said that he taught English um, maybe like a couple years back, five years back at a, at a high school. So he, he knows how to teach kids. That's obvious. Um, he he knows how to tell you what to do, what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, and how to how to improve your game. I think that's very special. 
So you've seen a couple of schools, and we'll get into some of that in just a little bit, but what are you looking for at your next destination whenever you decide to move on from McDonough? I'm looking for a school that loves me. I'm looking for a school that I know that I will be okay with going there and being a student athlete, a student first and then an athlete. I think that is very important for me. I want to get my education in case um, going to going pro doesn't work out. I have to make sure that I'm fine educational wise. My mom has made that very clear to me. Um, I I I want to go somewhere where um, there's a there's a family there's a family like connection and and the coaches take care of me. I don't have to call my parents every every day. I mean I'm I'm, I'm gonna do that anyway, but I don't have to say um, I gotta ask they're not, you they're not treating me right or something like that. Just just one, one quick aside: Are you a mama's boy? Because I'm I I am, <laughs> and I feel like I'm getting that vibe. Is that is that I'm picking up on that correctly or not? Um, some people may say that. I mean, I'm a little bit of both. I like I like okay. both my parents. I, it it just depends on who's mad at me, and then I'll pick the other person. <laughs> so if my if my if my dad's mad at me, I'll be a I'll be a mommy boy. If my mom's mad at me, I'll be a dad. You oh, you're know. so I, I smart. Just how it works. You're so yeah. smart. That's that's exactly how you play that. Uh, yes, so sir. you know, a ton of guys from McDonough up at Penn State. Uh, were mm-hmm. they who you were hanging out with? Who were you interacting with while you were up there as far mm-hmm. as players? And then were there other recruits that you were talking to over the weekend? Right. Um, I was hanging with Devon Elias um, for most of my time up there. Um, I met I, – so I think this is my first time meeting PJ, PJ Mustafer. I've, I've actually never met him. Um, he look, he look, he looks like a he looks like an old man. Um, <laughs> so, but no, he's cool. That, that, that's my guy now. He he's a, he's actually very cool. Um, he he dry, he dropped a lot he dropped a lot of knowledge on me. Um, that that I very do that 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 I do appreciate. Um, I was talking to Curtis. You know, I played with him. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was with some other recruits. I was with um, what was he's a tackle. Um, his Instagram name is like. Doogie or something like that. Uh, oh, Josh! I Miller. forgot. Yeah, Josh Miller. Yeah. He's cool. Another he's, friend he's of the a, show. He's a character. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's cool. He's cool. That's my guy. Um, I was with um, the quarterback commit who just committed to Penn State, uh, Marcus Stokes. Uh, Marcus Stokes. Yeah, I, yep. I actually played with him seventh grade football, um, and then oh, really? he moved down to Florida. Yeah, I played with him for a little bit. So um, I, I, I knew I knew a couple of people up there. Um, it was cool. I liked it. It was it was a nice little nice little um, visit. I'll say that. So uh, we talked about John Scott Jr. and kind of your impressions of him. I always got to ask, what right. are your impressions of Penn State head coach James Franklin? Obviously, it wasn't the first time you've seen him or met him, but w- what right. stands out to you when you interact with James Franklin? Um, actually, I was talking to the guys a lot about the coaches, and one thing that everybody was saying was like, at first you're you're not gonna like James Franklin because. He's me. He's this. He's that. But once you start to like settle down and actually start to meet him, actually start to talk to him, then you realize that he's doing it out of love, you know, because he he loves to take care of the guys who are dearest to him, and that and that's why he's always on you. That's why he's always pushing you. But most of the time, they were like, he he just loves you. That's why he's on you so much. I thought that was a great thing to hear because it just shows a lot about his character and about who and about what he does and why he does it. I think that's very important for that's, a head coach. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, that's that's um, that we've heard a lot of things about James Franklin. I always make sure I ask and it's just very insightful to get uh, your perspective on the head coach and all the, the coaches that are around him at the university. And speaking yeah. of which, uh, a couple weekends ago, you were telling me you visited South Carolina. So how did your visit go down south? At South Carolina, it was cool. Um, I know one of the D line coaches. Um, he played with my father at the University of Tennessee Chattanooga. Um, they 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 were actually roommates. His name is Coach Jimmy Lindsay. Um, he's cool. So he 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 treats me like I'm like his little cousin or something like that. You know, he's like my my uncle or something like that. He's cool. Um, but I I met the new D uh, D N slash outside linebacker coach. Um, Coach uh, Sterling uh, Lucas, I think that's his name. That's yep. his last name. But um, yeah, he's cool. We were down there for a couple for two days. Um, that uh, is is SEC. I'll say that you know, 
biggest guys, you know, play any position, run fast, hit hard. Um, they 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 really get after it, and um, they're coached like they want to get after it. You know, they 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 play hard and practice hard. So what was your impression then of the university and, and kind of how you saw yourself and what you said earlier about what you're looking for in a place? What was your impression of South Carolina then in that context? Um, South Carolina is um, it's a great school. I'll say that. Um, I, I, was shown, I was shown love. Um, I appreciate that from the fellas, from the coaches, from the coaching staff and from everybody else, uh, it was a great visit. Uh, it was warm. It was like eighty degrees, 70, <laughs> seventy-five degrees. There, you can't, you can't beat that. This is the first um, day it's been warm in the Northeast all spring yeah, long. So yeah, it I feels think great saying. outside today, but tomorrow you never know. <laughs> like, yep, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, but uh, it was nice. I liked it. Um, I, 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 I still have to rank them. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna sit down with my parents and talk about the pros and cons of. South Carolina, of Penn State, of any other college that I've been to. So uh, I, I just have to see where I'm going to move on from there. So do you have a timeline for that? Because I know we talked earlier, you want to commit before your senior season, probably sometime right. in the summer. So do you have right. kind of a timeline of you know the steps of recruitment? A lot of guys put out top fives. Is that something you're intending to do? Um, I think top five, putting out a top five really isn't important to me as making sure that I know where what what I what I want to do. I mean, don't 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 get me wrong. Top fives are cool and all, but um, right now that's not really important to me as as much to know like the pros and cons of each school and sitting down and talking to the coaches and talking with my family and seeing where I should take my next visit or or talk to next coach or see like if I should drop this school or be more interested in this school or, you know, but um, I think my next step is taking official visits. I'm really trying to take it slow. Um, so yeah. And I'm still trying to commit before my senior season. I think that's the best, the best thing right now. It might change, but that's the plan right now. And I'm going to just try to stick to that as best as I can. I should have realized, you know, talking to a McDonough guy, you guys are all more mature than I am. So, of course, <laughs> of course, you're going to have a perfect, reasonable, thoughtful answer to uh, top fives and things like that. Uh, but good right. to know that you're planning on taking official visits and, and you're going to take mm-hmm. time with the process and all of those things. Obviously, making this decision is very important and uh, and and one that you want to get right. So appreciate right. you giving us insight into that. Uh, do you want to no do you want to switch gears, talk about some football? That's fine with me. Anything. I'm, I'm here. Okay. So I was, I, like I told you earlier, I was watching your film earlier today, and mm-hmm. I want to ask you, how would you describe yourself as a football player? How would I describe myself as a football player? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've been taught by some very cool people. Coach Daniel Yarbrough, who's my defensive line coach. Um, my coaches from rec league, they, they've always installed me to, um, to play with a motor, mm-hmm. to play hard, play violent. And I feel like over these past couple of years, I've really been trying to accomplish those things and play, play hard, play with a motor, never, never give up on a play. Always, always, um, try to make the play that isn't yours to make, you know, always try to. Right, be the fastest when you're not the fastest. I always try to push your teammates. I feel like I've been able to 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 play alongside some really some really um some really awesome individuals, awesome teammates. I would say uh, Denai Dennis Sutton, Curtis Jacobs, Quan Williams, just a, just to say a few. But um, they they've also taught me to to never give up, to to always play hard and play strong and things of that nature. So. Yeah, I always appreciate it. So I, it's nice sitting here and watching things and being like, this dude is relentless. Like, I imagine it's very annoying to play against Mason Robinson. So you <laughs> saying that, like, yeah, that's exactly what I saw. Somebody who is constantly in the right position. And I want to ask you about that because we talked a little bit about your technique in the last time we, we spoke. Um, right. How much film do you watch of your opponent? I actually watch quite a bit with my coach and my dad and some of our players like with uh deny and 
uh, Quan and them. Um, really, with my coach, uh, we 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 tr- we uh, try to like zero it down to like their tendencies. Do they pick up the right foot? Do they bend over right before they kick step? Mm-hmm. Do they bend over when they're about to uh, base block me? Um, just just small stuff that people who don't watch film wouldn't pick up on, and we we try we try to get a little bit of an edge on them, just just a tad bit, so it make the game a little bit easier, so so the game will play a little bit slower for me. So then I could, because it might it might seem like I'm just guessing, but really, I've I've been putting in the work and watching film and doing all that stuff to make me seem like what is what is he looking at to see to like watch like how how does he know that. Is 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 all because I've been watching film and doing all that good stuff for my coach and my players and my dad. So yeah, and and even times when you sometimes get a little bit caught by maybe a play action or something, you know how to get yourself right back into the play. And it does. Right. It seems like a lot of times you know what's coming and you you've you've anticipated because of that film study. So that's another thing that I was noticing and I was curious to see where you watch. Now it's interesting because uh, you said your dad played at Tennessee Chattanooga, right? Yes, sir. He did. So, uh, first off, what's his first name? And then uh, how much of an influence is he on you? Uh, my dad's name is Kareem Robinson. Um, he played at Tennessee Chattanooga and then went on to go pro. Um, he, 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 he always throws that in my face, says that he's better than me. <laughs> and honestly, he knows that he came and lighted a candle next to me, but it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, he, he, has a, he has a very strong impact on me. So does my mom. Um, he's he's always taught me to work hard ever since I was six years old when I started playing football. Um, work hard, don't give up, be relentless, be smart, be physical, and um, just do what you love. And you know, always always be you. And I, and I feel like he he has a very a very strong impact on my life. I I don't know where I would be without him. So I appreciate him. So you got a great support system. You watch film. You got great technique, great coaches. Uh, but you're also very, you know, you're a talented individual yourself as well. Uh, we Thank have you. we have you at six three, about two twenty. We know we talk. I know we talked about this before of um, you know working in the weight room this off season. So uh, right. what is your goal there? So do you have a, like a goal weight? Do you have a goal like max PR of X, Y, or Z? What are your goals there to kind of enhance all of those skills that you have already? Right now, I'm just trying to get bigger, faster, stronger. That's why I'm doing track to get faster in the weight room with, co- with uh, my strength and conditional coach, also my D-line coach, Coach Daniel Yarbrough. Um, we, we're just in there trying to be more and more explosive, doing a lot of power cleans, hang cleans, squats, deadlifts, um, uh, bench presses, um, things of that nature. Um, and I've, I've also been working with – Coach Dan on the weekends, during the weekdays, doing some hand stuff, some some footwork drills, and things of that nature. Um, and I've I've just I've been trying to build build my game not not only on the field but off the field, being a leader, you know, mm-hmm. um, being somebody that that the guys can actually look up to this year because this year I'm I'm gonna be a senior and I want I want to build a culture, a new culture, a, a winning culture for McDonough because we haven't. Because these past couple of years we've made it there, but we haven't secured a ring yet, and mm-hmm. that that's my goal. That's what I want to. That is the the end game, basically. That's that's what I want out of my whole high school career is to finally be somebody that that these younger pups can finally look up to. I think that's special. Someday you'll be the PJ Mustafer. They're coming to visit wherever <laughs> they're wherever you end up, and you'll be like the Godfather at that point. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's how that's it rolls. crazy to think of. Yeah, that's that's wild. Uh, so when it comes to one last question about your game, because you know I, I think that it's it's pretty clear on film how much detail you put into your hand usage, your pad level. Uh, I actually noticed you the first time when I was scouting Deny when you came in at tackle. And I was like, who's this guy that is definitely uh, not yeah. a tackle <laughs> who is just executing the assignment? And that's why I was saying, like, you must be so annoying that you just go in at tackle and you do everything correctly. So when it comes to your technique, though, yeah. um, who do you look at? Uh, is it your dad? You know, what sort of player do you model yourself after if you're watching film of somebody in college or the pros to pick up things that you feel like fit your game and the way you play? 
Right. Um, honestly, I, it's not one person in particular. Really, it's just whatever I like and, and like and like uh, whatever I see. If like somebody does a nice move, I'd be like, hold on, go back, and then I I, I I try I try I try to like do that move and try to like perfect it to see if it works for me. And then, and if it doesn't work for me, then I'll just keep on and do what works best for me. Because honestly, they're them; they can be the best of them, but. But, but like what they do, it might not work for me. And I'm going to just try to figure out what works for me the best. That's why I don't really have a favorite player in the league. I don't really have like somebody like that. So I just try to be me and be the best me I can be. You well, it, totally makes a ton of sense. And, and, uh, and I feel like you've got a lot of that going on right now. So Let's talk about some fun things. Let's talk about getting to know you, the person. So if uh, right. Penn State fans, if they're following you and, and you're on the football field in the future, they know a little bit more about you. So uh, first off, we know about your mom and dad. Uh, first off, what's right. your mom's name? I don't want to I don't want to uh, uh, not acknowledge her. So what's your mom's name? Jennifer Robinson. All right. So Jennifer and uh, Kareem, right? Kareem. Yes. Sir. Yep. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I actually do. I have. Um... One of my sisters' name is Mackenzie. She's 21. Um, she lives in Baltimore still. She's trying to be a nurse, something, something like that, something in the hospital. My sit, my other sister, um, she's 18, about to turn 19 soon. She's actually at the University of Memphis. Um, this is a, this is her first year there. She's a freshman, and uh, she's 16 hours away, so I don't really get to see her that more, uh, yeah. uh, that 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 much. But um, yeah, those are my two siblings. I got two older sisters, so they always used to beat up on me. It was <laughs> it was it was kind of hard growing up, but it is what it is. Yeah, made me who I am today. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. I, I just I keep running into the youngest sibling, and I I, I feel that so hard. I totally yeah. get it. Uh, do you have any pets? Are you are you a, are you a, an animal person? I just got a dog. Um, her name is Nova. She's like a little small thing. She's black. Uh, she, uh, she's a Havapu. Uh, she's mixed with a poodle and a Havanese. I've so, never heard of that one before. Yeah, she's she's like a little small thing. She's like probably twenty pounds, if that. So N- nice lap dog. Uh, what's yeah, your fa- yeah. what's your favorite movie or what's your favorite movie genre? If you don't oh, have one off the top of your head, it's the good one. Um, <laughs> favorite movie, I would say like. I'm gonna have to go old school, like Friday. I, I like I like a good comedy, maybe like Boys in the Hood, or, um, or I could go Marvel with like Black Panther. Yeah. Um, I'm glad Infinity you didn't War. say. I, I'm glad I'm you like didn't that. say I'm gonna go old school and then name something from like four years ago and make everyone watching <laughs> feel old. So I appreciate everyone nah. appreciates that. We we do. I promise. <laughs> of course. Um. So do you play video games? What's your favorite game? Yes, if you sir. Do? Um, I've been playing Madden. I, I I just lost to um uh I forgot his name, but he's he's like the starting safety at Penn State. Um the Vaughn's roommate. I, I forgot his name, but uh we we were playing Madden um last weekend and unfortunately I lost, but he cheated. So yeah, of course. really it kinda it kinda makes up for the loss a little bit, so it is what it is. Uh, and then last couple questions. What uh, do you have any hobbies outside of you know hanging out, playing video games? Do you the things you do that are like recreational that you like? Right. Um, I I hang out with my friends a lot. Um, you might know them: uh, Tamaris Walker, Antonio Tripp, um, Adani Paul Swenson, uh, uh, Demetrius Smith. Um, those, those those are my very tight knit football friends who are actually cool outside of sports and stuff like that. Um, I watch Netflix. Um, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> it takes up a lot of time. That's it. That's, it, that's it a val- sure does. It's a value <laughs> add as well. As a happily married man, it's a value add. I promise. Uh, and then last <laughs> thing, as a um, as somebody who is, you mentioned education's important to you and your mom, right? And right. Uh, and and somebody who's clearly got a, a clear sense of things and a, your head on straight. What degree do you want to pursue at Penn State? Um, I want to at least get my associate's degree, um, my, 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 my bachelor's degree. Mm-hmm. And, um, I don't know what field I want to get 
it in yet. Um, I'm still trying to figure out my major and things of that things of that nature. Um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm still trying to figure out what I like, what I don't like, what I want to be when I get older and stuff like that. But um, you you uh, mentioned education. Uh, my mom was actually a math teacher. That, that that's why she takes education so seriously. She's a middle school math teacher. I think she teaches sixth through seventh grade math, something like that. So she really preaches on education first, then being an athlete later. But my dad is more of the athletic side, so they so they kind of work both ways. You know, coexist equally. Your mom teaches middle school math. She must have so much patience that 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 is uh yeah I, I can't imagine doing that as somebody who tried to learn middle school math i can't imagine mm-hmm. trying to teach someone middle school math so yeah i i don't think i would do that i don't have the patience for that at all but more more power to her yeah yeah my so my dad was in medicine and i i watched that and i'm like nope not for me so you, you're <laughs> smart you're smart picking up other things you don't want to do right that's right. smart uh, Mason, this is so much fun. Thank you for coming on the show. And uh, thanks for having me. You know, in the future, if you make the decision to come to Penn State and to come to Happy Valley, we'd love to have you back on the show. Talk about that as well. So thanks again for coming on the show. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate that does it. it. Sorry about that. That does it today for the BWI Daily Edition. Make sure you subscribe wherever you get your podcast so you don't miss interviews like this with commits and and recruits and prospects and and all kinds of players coming here on the BWI Daily. I'm your host, Thomas Frank Carr. We'll talk to you tomorrow.